This conference will now be recorded. Hey everybody, it's Tammy, and I won't keep you too long today. I want to greet all my rebel agents out there. You know who you are, the rebel agents, the ones that are not doing the same old, same old thing. But today, speaking of same old, same old things, I want to show you some stuff. And I, w I want you to know, I'm not doing this from any kind of vindictive point of view, but I just think it's amusing that, um, I mean, what do they say about um, imitation? It's the sincerest form of flattery. So I want to show you a couple things. First of all, one of the things I do for my agents is I help them rewrite, not just rewrite their LinkedIn bio, but put a new banner up and, uh, you know, highlight some of their credentials and things like that. And also, uh, I, I'm very keyword sensitive, so I'm trying to put some keywords in there to help you get found more easily in LinkedIn. LinkedIn has some amazing potential, and we're going to explore that later. If you're one of my rebel agents, I'm going to be teaching you some techniques for actually using LinkedIn to get organic leads. But that aside, and it doesn't matter whether you're an agent or not, actually, if you're watching this and you're a real estate syndicator or you are a real estate agent or you do any kind of business, these techniques will also work for you, even for brick and mortar, if you do it right. So here's the thing. Uh, LinkedIn, uh, I, I do the profile and I also, for an additional, uh, uh, you know, I try to keep it really within your budget, uh, we'll go in and create lists from LinkedIn of your contacts and also help you build your contacts because until you get about 500 which to me that's the golden mark on linkedin you you don't get as much attention when you have fewer than 500 contacts i think i think somehow in the algorithm of linkedin they do put some weight on you having a wide uh you know wide network okay so that being said i do that but i want to tell you i've been doing this for a long long time matter of fact a friend of mine who worked with Gary Vaynerchuk. You might know him. He's a pretty popular marketer. Anyway, my friend helped me develop a template type thing I use. I do customize everything, but I do have a, an outline, a skeleton as you will, as, as it is, um, that I've been using for years, literally years. So I'm going to show you my screen now and you'll see one of the first ones of these I ever did. And this was done many years ago. Okay. Probably at, this was done at least five years ago. So this is my personal friend, Charles Jirai. This is his LinkedIn profile thing that we did. Okay, I'm gonna go down here and show you what it looks like on the about section. One of the things I always tell people is if you don't do anything else, make sure your about section is, is done really well and has uh, some provocative information on it, maybe some neuro-linguistic programming language and some keywords, right? So here we are, here's the, the about. And you'll notice, look, these these are specifically green check marks. I mean, there's a lot of different, you know, little uh, whatever you want to call them, emojis or, or whatever that you can use. Okay, so the chances of this repeating on another site randomly are almost nil, right? People are going to use their own little emojis when they offset it. So I have these little boxes and I have these. Uh, important to notice, I use the stars and all this stuff. And why is this important? Because as I said, sincere, you know, flattery, or uh, excuse me, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. So when people are imitating you, don't get angry, you know, be pleased about it. So you look here, okay, so I did this one, this was a while, and then I've refined it since then. And I've done this for lots of people over the years. Then all of a sudden, well, I find this. Now, this guy, uh, Derek Laughlin, is not a rebel agent. Uh, I think he's a pretty new safe money radio host is what I think. I, I, I don't know, because here's the funny thing about the safe money radio. They try to hide every, all the, it's, it's funny. I mean, the most critical part of having a radio show or a podcast or a video cast, in my opinion, is you have to promote it. It has to you know, you've heard of going viral, but it, but you have to do something. To, it doesn't just happen, right? Not everyone's a Joe Rogan where it just takes off, right? So you've got to be out there promoting it. And instead of promoting it, the Safe Money Radio seems to want to hide everything. They want to hide all their guys. It's almost impossible if you go out and go, if you search Derek Laughlin, Safe Money Radio, New Orleans or whatever, it's hard to find any information or promotional material about his show. That's, I think that's counterintuitive. 
and counterproductive, you know. But that being said, so you look and he has done kind of a banner that needs to be a little sharpened a little bit maybe, but he has his little logos on there. Okay, I can do the logos, but I want to know, uh, you know, it's just funny. Okay, that's not a coincidence there. All right. So then you go down here and this is really not coincidental. Look at this same green check marks, right? The same ones that I picked for my say, look, same little stars. Okay. Same putting it in a question format, which is one of the things I teach uh, people to do with their LinkedIn and, and Facebook page profiles and other things. So they're asking all these little questions. So, you know, you can tell it was definitely borrowed from my template, which I find funny. Okay. So anyway, here's, here's all the, uh, here's all the information on Derek's. Now, I don't know whether Derek ran across one of mine on his own and just decided to do that. And that's okay, Derek, I'm cool. Or whether I, what I suspect is his FMO, IMO, which is probably something to do with Aegis or Anthony Owen, or uh, I think he used to be with the Wynn Group, maybe. Um, I believe that they are are now doing this or quote unquote offering it as a service, which is funny to me, right? Because here's the thing. I don't just create templates and I don't just create emails for you guys to use. I'm going to be behind this promoting it because you need a cheerleader. And if you're a true rebel agent and I believe in you, then I'm going to promote you in a lot of different ways. So um, if you're, watching this video independently or if it's with an email, then I suggest that you follow the links that are in the show notes or in the email and look at some of the properties that we've done. And as time goes by, you're going to see, well, I've already found a lot of my writing repurposed. You know, I've, I've found by accident where people are using actual articles, almost verbatim from some stuff I've written. So, I'm very, very flattered that they're doing that. They feel like they they can't be creative enough, so they got to borrow from me, right on. But but let's look at, at look at some of the stuff that we're doing and see if rebel agents philosophy fits what you are doing as an agent. You know, I'm on this hatred, not hatred, that's strong, but this extreme dislike of IMOs and FMOs and the way they treat advisors. Matter of fact, I had uh, an advisor call me last night after hours and complain about some things that had happened to him and that he had spent so much money on marketing, not only that didn't work, because sometimes you it just, it, you, no matter what you do, you, you're in a marketplace or you're in a niche that is not easy to penetrate. So sometimes it happens, but but this was never going to work. This was like giving him a teaspoon uh, to bail out a boat that was sinking. And so he wasn't getting results and he was never going to get results. And he was just going to keep throwing good money after bad stuff. So if you're in that situation, let's take a look at what you're doing and see if we can make it better. Number one, we don't throw out the baby and the bathwater. We try to see what you're doing and figure out, can we use this still? Or how can we use it? How can we make it better? How can we make it more effective, right? That's one thing I do. The other thing is, I want to help you be original and tell your story. Because let me tell you, all this AI and all this technology that you're hearing about, it's not really what people want. The more I talk to, to and one of the things I do is I, I talk to your clients and get video testimonials. They're very powerful. But when I talk to these clients, I realize they really want connection. They, especially if you work in the senior market, they want to connect with a real person. They don't want a robot. They don't want cookie cutter stuff. What I'm seeing now is cookie cutter websites. They all look the same and they may be free, but they just churn them out. Right. And I'm seeing all sorts of things that, you know, people are just not, not wanting that anymore. They want to go back to the storytelling. If you look at TED Talks and how popular they are, it's because people relate to stories. People like to see themselves in other people's stories. People uh, enjoy laughing. Um, you know, they say that 14 million seniors are isolated now. I thought that was, you know, just really astounding that 14 million seniors are living alone now in the United States. And they, they have that sense of isolation and they want to connect. They want to tell their story. 
And so my unusual take for you guys, for you agents and advisors, and for anyone that works with older people is that why don't, instead of telling your story all the time, why don't you partner with me and we'll tell your clients stories. And if you want to see examples of that, go to Safe Money Trends on YouTube and look at a couple of these. Uh, they're beyond testimonials. And I have a new way of doing this. It's going to be so impactful for those of you who want to get more clients and who want to get more referrals. Okay. So again, if you want to be a rebel agent or you want to talk to me about specific marketing challenges that you have, please reach out to me Monday through Friday. I'm on the West Coast, of course, 951-658-0492. Again, it's 951-658-0492. Thanks for watching. And again, I, I, you know, if you run across this duplicated stuff, please, I'm, I'm having advisors send me emails that have been sent out saying, don't work with Tammy. She's evil. Well, not exactly that, but, you know, disparaging emails that have gone out and all the other stuff. It makes me laugh because I know that I'm trying to do right by agents and they're getting screwed over. And I don't like that. So reach out to me anytime you want. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.